Hi, welcome to Let's Talk Bonds, the weekly podcast from INR Bonds. I am Arjun Patsarthi. And in Let's Talk Bonds, I take you through the best options available for investors in the fixed income markets. And uh, given the current uh, environment and all the issues that are surrounding the markets as well. And which is very important for financial advisors and for investors to understand as they invest in fixed income. And in this podcast, I'm going to talk about two-year bonds and uh, whether are they do they make good sense in this current economic environment and where, where, where would an investor, uh, what are the returns an investor can expect from across the bonds that are being issued, issued and traded in the market. Before that, if you're a financial advisor, let's log into our partner portal at inrbondspartner.com partners and um, check out all the uh, supports that we are giving to financial advisors, including all the two-year bonds that are on offshore offer and uh, the best, uh, most transparency in the prices, check all the prices of the bonds, the most information and more importantly, our own proprietary risk scale, which tells you exactly what is the risk of the issue bond in the market. Uh, log into INR bonds and sign up for partners. Uh, we also obviously give you the best investment, a straight through investment for your clients uh, through our partners. Back to let's talk bonds. Now, two year bonds, where are the bond deals? Government bonds would be in a range of about 6.7%, state development loans around 6.9%. Uh, there you have a two-year um, 2024 maturity SBI perpetual closer to 7.3 percent. Now, given that SBI is almost a government of India risk at 7.3 percent, it looks very attractive, and uh, definitely two-year SBI perpetual, uh, which is callable on the 24th of December. And SPI typically will not have any problems of capital or liquidity. So normally the market expects the bond uh, to be called. At 7.3%, it does make a very good sense for investors in those who have the appetite for buying two-year perpetual bonds. The credit risk is zero for SBI because it's completely government-owned. And uh, in the other corporate bond space, you had uh, uh, private placements. Uh, Godridge Housing issued two-year bonds at 7.75%. Godridge is a good name. You had um, Fab India, where everybody knows Fab India in terms of their retailer of uh, all traditional products. Issuing two-year bond at 11.5% if investors do understand the risk of Fab India, then they can look at it. Uh, Chola Mandalam, the South-based financial, again, a strong credit, issuing two-year bonds at 7.31%. You have Bajaj Housing Finance, again, a very strong credit, issuing two-year bonds at 7.28%. You have Ugo Capital, a new age fintech company, issuing two-year bonds at and 0.35%, clearly, they uh, are uh, into unsecured lending. And that reflects in the cost of funds for them for the two years. Should investors look to invest? I think they need to understand a whole host of things before investing in higher risk credits. And uh, if you look at, uh, if you check our SFY search for yields, the newsletter this week, we talk about refinancing, refinancing risk for issuers. Uh, coming down to other options in the fixed income uh, two-year bonds, you have uh, other uh, uh, bonds, uh, two-year bonds, which are um, like uh, TBS uh, uh, credit, which is not two-year exactly, uh, which is a little over a year, which is around 8.5%. And um, uh, other two-year bonds, uh, depending on the rating, in trading in a range of uh, say 7.3%, uh, 7, 7.3% or 7.2% 7 to or all the way up to even 9.5% to 10% depending on the issuer. 
and if investors are able to judge the risk of issuers then they can look at various options in two year bonds and should they invest in two year bonds uh, in this current economic uh, environment where inflation is rolling very high and the, there is a huge amount of uh, risk on inflation eating into the bond returns uh, higher duration bonds uh, is definitely risky and uh, uh, if if the expectation is that interest rates are going to rise going forward then it's better that investors get back their capital quickly so that they, they can have reinvest at higher risk at higher returns at higher yields typically when interest rates are rising the reinvestment risk is not there because it's better for investors and when interest rates are falling the reinvestment risk is there and it's better investors are issuing investing in long duration bonds at this point of time given that interest rates are still in a flux and uncertain and uh, there are a lot of risk aversion globally credit markets too uh, investors should the two year bonds where the risk is easily identifiable there and the returns investors depending on the risk appetite choose the returns um makes a lot of sense and the investors can definitely look at our or uh, inr bonds where we have uh, uh, a global list of bonds that is uh, well over 80 200 bonds sometimes 150 bonds listed on the platform in the call two year bonds on offer but if investors want to the shortlist bonds we have already done that for you through our app quick invest by NR bonds download the app check the bonds two year bonds or even lower maturity bonds available on offer check the yields check the risk score through our proprietary risk model see the information on the bonds and take an investment decision and once taken all you need to do is say invest and it takes you through a seamless in-app investment process download the quick invest by NR bonds app now Thank you very much for listening to the podcast and do follow us on all podcast channels.